I'm here. First time I saw Cleo, I hey, Cleo. Don't worry. I, I only test the weapons on customers I don't like. Feel free to browse. I'll take a look, sure. A gun for every occasion. Entertainments down the stairs. <clears throat> what do you want? Y you look like one of them weak city slickers trying to grease up a broken old man. Uh, did that Alyssa girly send you? Yes. You have information I need. <clears throat> well... You see, my old lady and me were sitting pretty with a working farm. It wasn't anything fancy, but it uh, produces a solid crop, and we were able to make a decent living. <laughs> well, one day, out of nowhere, three of them big green mutant buggers come charging through the orchard. They start destroying the place. Now the missus, not being backward about coming forward, you know, she charges up and confronts the head bastard. Without blinking an eye, that bastard swings his giant club and takes my poor wife's head clean off like it was some 4th of July pumpkin. <laughs> I saw all this as I was walking back from the neighbors. Seeing as I couldn't help her anymore, well, I ran and hid till they finished their terrible business. I mean, oh, he just killed her without saying a word. They're just monsters. We need to eradicate the bloody lot of them. Well, I hope you got what you came for. Please, let me be now. This talk has not done me well. Just like Sammy, too. He sure as hell didn't act like him. Institute thinks they can replace people with synths in this town? Fred? Are you going to hang out in the lobby all day again, or are you actually going to go down and do some work? Being available to the customers is work. It's not all about cooking chems, Claire. It's not all about sampling those chems either. Maybe if you stop using, you can focus. What? Where's the fun in cooking it if you ain't using it? My mistake. Why? No. It 
cat. It, 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 it's you from Sanctuary Hills, right? Are you from vault -Tec? I am vault -Tec. 20 years of loyal service. And now look at me. I wasn't on the list for you. Look at you. 200 years, and you're still perfect. How? How's that possible? The vault had these pods that froze us in place. I only thawed out recently. What? vault -Tec never told me that. Unbelievable. Well, I had to get to the future the hard way. Living through the filth, the decay, and the bloodshed. Look at me. I'm a ghoul. A freak. I'm so sorry. I didn't know this would happen. You know You're the only other person I met from before. I, uh, I... Oh, God. I've been so alone here. No Commonwealth settlement. Once a ghoul with 200 years of vault tech sales experience. Hey, you know, you could head back to Sanctuary. I'll come visit. I promise. Really? You... You will? Okay. I'll head over there right now. You promise you'll come visit, right? I'll see you there. The target and your instructions. Recover the item. Them at any cost. Return it to the coordinates listed on this tape. Do not hold back in your attempts to recover the item. If you are not relentless, it will seal your fate. Hey, just your friend. Dead. Lost. Hello. How are you? What are you doing today? Hey. Hi there. Hi. Shoot. 
How do you think things are between us? I thought the Commonwealth only had a bunch of assholes. I guess I was wrong. How do you think things are between us? I have to be honest with you. I'm kind of impressed. You hit home in so many places. Oh, nothing. Sure. I'm happy to help folks that help each other. You need anything? Hi. You there. Caravan or raider? I'm here on my own. Freelance, huh? All right. Come on in, but no gunfire. Market's open. You can do as much trading as you like. Hope you like listening to whiny caravan guards. Place is full of them. Can you hear me? The atmosphere is playing the dickens with my signal. One moment. My Protectron informs me you've delivered the item, but, oh my, it seems you aren't the people I hired. But if you found the item, why risk bringing it to me, and how did you avoid its curse? There's always a risk. It was worth it. Far more than you know. Wherever the item goes, death and destruction follow. It's hard to spot in the wasteland, but it left a more obvious trail before the bombs fell. I traced its movements for centuries. On October 23rd, 2077, it was at the epicenter of what is now Cambridge Crater. Anything's possible. Then you understand why I've gone to such lengths to contain it. I thought the item was lost forever. Until I heard the recent rumors of ill-gotten luck, I offered much for its safe return to this Protectron. Which is why this robot 
will soon march itself into the depths of the glowing sea. There, it can ruin the lives of rat scorpions. But first, payment for your trouble. And I assure you, we will never speak again. good today. What's good today? What's good today? What's good today? work to do. Can't talk now. Huh? I just want to trade a few things. Go ahead. What's good today? What's good today? What's good today? Hey. All right. Time out. Uh, you got me. What do you want? Who's your boss? No way, man. I can't tell you. He will know. You think you're in pain now? I can make you bleed. Make you beg me for death. All right. All right. No one knows where he is. We all get messages sent to us. That's how he works. Bullshit. You're trying to play me for a fool. All right. 
All right. There's this guy in Concord. E Edmund? No. Edmund. Yeah. He knows everything. What's good today? Hey, my contract with Lucas is up soon. Let me know if you got any work. What do you think about coming to work for me? Yeah? Cool. Just... Tell me where you need me. Find Don't eye the Brahmin if you got any sense. Better in our hands anyway. I ain't letting you get me! That was nuts! Everything's taken care of. You have no idea how relieved I am. Don't give me the details. If I don't know where the scab is, I can't pick it off. Oh, I can't thank you enough. Next time I'm through, I'll sell some of my private stock. Good rates, just for you. I don't know why they'd kill for a bottle cap. The rabbit's foot brought me real luck. Ever since I found it in Cambridge. But I never talked about it. But I'm done with all that. Here, take it. I insist. Consider it a bonus.
I'm happy to help folks that help each other, like you. What do you need? Hi there. How are you doing today? Looting from a dead body. How shameful. Got anything for me? Huh? If you know of any sanitary places I could settle, I'd love to hear about it. Would you come work for me? Excellent. I've already packed. Just let me know where you'd like me to work. What's good today? Hey there. You're with the Minutemen, right? No one sent me, but the Minutemen are always here to help. A pack of feral ghouls has wandered in nearby. It's too risky to have them so close, and we need someone to clear them out. Not a problem. Those ghouls are as good as gone. It'll be good not to have to keep an eye under every log and scrap pile for them. Hey there. Hey, dear. You come to hear Lainey's tale of misery and woe. That Alyssa woman told me someone would come to hear all the grisly details, and I figured it must be you. I appreciate you telling me all of this. I know it's difficult. Well, dear, it all started when our trading caravan stopped for the evening at one of those small outposts. I can't remember which one now. You see, my two sisters and my brother were all that was left of our family, and we had finally found safety with the caravan. Sometimes it was hard work, but it was ours. And up until then, it was safe. So anyway, we set up camp, and old Ralphie the guard set up his usual watch for the night. I'm not really sure what happened, but we were woken up by this almighty sound of something very heavy and being pounded into the ground. We were all woke up, and I grabbed my old trusty rifle, ready to address whatever shenanigans were upon us. When I went to look for poor Ralphie, all I found was a pile of blood and guts, and those big green buggers were upon us. Well, I pulled up my rifle, and I took a bead on the big, mean-looking one, and my gun jammed, and I couldn't get it to release. The gun jamming like that sent me into shock, so I rolled over and ran like hell over the hill and down to the river. When it was all over... I snuck back to see how bad it was. There was no one left standing. My poor brother and my two sisters were lying on the ground with their necks broken. Like... Like discarded dolls from some poor child's playground. As there wasn't anything left for me, I came here. Oh, God. Just thinking about it makes me sick again. Please go. I need to be alone some.
there. Hmm? You need anything? I'm here. Hey. Huh? Hey there. Need help? Hey. We could really use your help. I'd be glad to help if I can. Something nasty's living just around the corner from here. It's only a matter of time before there's some real trouble. What's really too bad is mm -hmm. it'd be a nice spot for a new settlement. In fact, I know some folks that are not... Wow. <laughs> uh, are you here about the muties? Did Melissa send you? send you can you tell me about them oh well oh <laughs> uh, are you here about the muties did Melissa send you hey there oh <laughs> uh, are you here about the muties did Melissa send you can you tell me about them oh well um, I mean well it, it was like this we had things pretty good uh, Mom and Dad had found us a nice apartment that wasn't too damaged, and, uh, well, we had a good supper. 
We had raided the other apartments and managed to scrape up everything we needed, but it, it didn't last long. One day, my friend and I were on lookup in a boarded up old grocery store. We were just sitting there when, like, I, I don't know, 10 of those beauty bastards just walked up to the front door of the block and just smashed it in like it was a piece of paper. I panicked because I had to warn Mom and Dad, but there's no way I was going to sneak past 10 angry muties. I bolted up the fire escape, but when I got to the window of our apartment, I could hear the horrible bellowing and roaring coming from our living room. I saw my parents ripped apart. I mean, how does that happen? It's burnt to my brain. I close my eyes at night, and it all plays out like some horror show. Over and over and over again. <sighs> been, been living on the streets ever since then. Jet helps with the thoughts sometimes. Anyways, I better get back to my hole before someone steals it. Make sure people know about this. wall out and crawl out through the fallout back to me What do you need? You need anything? Get your back.
You should be running the other way, dumbass. You can win this, huh? Killed all those poor raiders. I'm here. You need anything? Just ask me. Hey! For raiders, they lost. Dead. Okay, cut the shit. Who is that? Okay, cut the shit. Who is that?
fortified. Reminds me of the strip back home. How are you doing today? I hear the raiders down here are in a war. Works out pretty good for caravan. Terminate. 